gotta touch the VPN. Oh, Paul, what's happening? Uh, I'm just calling to see if we confirm for Friday afternoon. We are confirmed. Thank you, sir. Yes, there will be. This is the same guy we were supposed to do yesterday. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, thanks. So it's Ron Thompson.
just stop on that aircraft drops. Going. You good? Uh, saving herself 80 bucks a month because she's in a carpool now. And she's paying 80 bucks and she's like, she wants to not. Yeah. Not have to do that anymore. I was taking the metro and it cost me 120 bucks a month. You had to take the metro and you had to park, right? At the metro. I did that. Crazy. 75 a day. Yeah. It's crazy. So, you now it's like me and one other person. And now, if this woman tags on, if this woman tags on, I'd be like, hey, that's cool. I can do with that. Yeah. Drive once every three weeks. I think so. One thing, maybe zoom in on that middle balloon. The one there just the left of the house. Uh huh. Yeah. Suddenly turned up in the White House last month. 
They detailed the first lady's work for a failed savings and loan. Hummel says he last saw the records when he and Vince Foster reviewed them in the 1992 campaign. The deputy White House counsel committed suicide in 93. Hubble is serving a 21-month prison term for defrauding legal flights. The Senate is debating amendments to a major farm bill, and the final vote could come this hour. The bill would replace direct crop subsidies with fixed payments that would decrease over seven years. Republicans say it would give farmers more flexibility and stop paying them to not grow crops. But Democrats say critics say that would violate free speech rights. The statute at its core is so big and uncertain um, that it is impossible to know where, for anybody to know where the line is between protected speech and unprotected speech. And the inevitable result of that uncertainty is going to lead to significant and unfortunate uh, self-censorship on the net. Some free speech advocates are protesting by blacking out their internet home pages for 48 hours beginning today. Pat Buchanan scored an upset victory in the first presidential caucuses of the year. He claimed 13 delegates in yesterday's Louisiana vote. Senator Phil Graham captured eight delegates in the two-man race. All the other GOP hopefuls refused to take part because the first caucuses are traditionally held in Iowa. Graham says that will be crucial now to him. The good news is we got eight. We have eight more than Bob Dole, eight more than Steve Forbes. We move on to Iowa this morning. We have a strong organization there. I think Iowa is wide open, but I think it's clear that if anybody's going to win the Republican nomination, they're going to have to get one of the three tickets out of Iowa. Well, I think that we'll let Senator Graham himself really describe the condition of his campaign. I'm not going to say anything about it. He had a very bad night. He was upset. He'd been predicting a sweep, a great victory. Uh, but I really am not going to uh, talk about Senator's campaign. I'll let him discuss it. The Iowa caucuses will be held next Monday. President Clinton says Americans have great opportunities, but many people worry they won't be able to live out their dreams. He spoke to the National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities today in Washington and said changes in the workplace are forcing people to know more and learn more. He also stressed the importance of making education available to everyone. Mr. Clinton is facing a new political flap over his customs commissioner. An issue is how many drugs are coming over the border from Mexico. Anthony Collins has the story. With some 3 million trucks a year crossing the Mexican border into the U.S., trade is growing, but so is the flood of illegal drugs. Critics blame the Customs Service. There is no drug interdiction on the border. That's just what has led us to where we're at today. And there have been no major seizures that I know of at any of the major points of entry to the United States along the southwest border. Feinstein Customs Inspector, after he charged that known drug lords were having their trucks waved through, when we started to direct our enforcement activities towards those vehicles and those individuals, we were told to back off. By your superior. By our superior. The Customs Commissioner says he wants to balance law enforcement with efforts to boost trade. We have not been able to examine as many trucks, and that's one of the reasons we've tried to move to a more strategic focus. You shouldn't measure success by how many trucks you stop. You should measure success by stopping the right trucks. Critics say the policy is a green light for drug smokers. He has a duty to stop the flow of drugs in the capacity of the agency. And I don't think the current commissioner has been doing that. That's a dereliction of his duty. An internal study by Customs found that many of its 19,000 employees feel that license policies are undermining enforcement. As one Customs official who's quitting in disgust told CNN, our drug seizures are pitiful. Anthony Collins, CNN. In Massachusetts, John Salvi blew up in court today as jury selection for his murder trial resumed. He overturned a table after a bailiff tried to restrain him from holding up a written statement. He was tackled by court officers and carried from the room. He's accused of killing two people and wounding five others in a 1994 shooting spree at two Boston-area women's clinics. Three daughters of a Chicago couple accused of horrendous abuse are reportedly recanting their stories. The Chicago Tribune reports the girls, aged 10, 11, and 12, now say they and their brother were not molested, injected with drugs, and forced to eat rats and cockroaches. They say they were pressured by an adult sister-in-law to concoct the whole thing. Officials say recantations aren't unusual, though, in abuse cases, and the investigation continues. Bosnia and Croat leaders of the divided city of Mostar say they're breaking off relations with the European Union. About 150 Croats attacked the EU administration.
So what do you folk, what do your friends back home think about you joining the Air Force? Yeah, they're pretty cool with it. Like some of them is kind of. It gets very cold. Cold enough to wear a parka. Yeah, yeah so that's how. So I've heard it gets like we're like extremely hot in the day and extremely yeah. cold at night. Guarantee you have to wear a parka. All right. That'll be good. I wore a parka many days out there. Freezing to death. Come back. Too, they didn't catch it before. Because it, it's not that difficult to fix. I mean, it's yeah. we, probably, we probably can fix it. He'll, he'll say, when we start making a original dub, we'll probably fix it. Just probably fix it. You're, you're not working tomorrow in there, right? Okay. Let me need to shoot some on the table. What's that? Then we got one to shoot like on the table.
never stopped him before. One, one, actually, one more shot. Oh, okay. You need to get to your desk. <laughs>